Hi there. Hi. Are you ready for some trauma? Oh, I'm always ready for some trauma, especially in my doctor game. I think it's gonna get really heavy from here on out, so I'm gonna try and keep the energy up. It's happy smiles. Ugh. Let's figure out the truth of this reconciliation. Let's reconciliate. 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 Cool. Yes, that's that, that's the proper uh, Greek uh, d d d transformation. Yes. Do you think if if this whole like doctor thing doesn't work, do you think Derek Styles would be on like those shows that are on at noon, like the The Young and the Restless or something like that? Do I think he'd be a soap opera actor? Yes. No. Why not? I think he 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 likes to help people too much. But, but, what? But I feel being on a soap opera doesn't help people. <laughs> but I do feel like he'd be on TV somehow. I don't know, I just I just see him like, you know, doctors didn't work out, so then I went to Rockefeller Studio in, in uh, New oh. York City, and I became, a, I don't know, a, a medical consultant on, on uh, Good Morning America or something. I would like to think he's like a celebrity doctor. Like a, like Dr. Oz, but way more reputable. Uh, way better, yeah. <laughs> Aw, they, they all reconciled. Like oh, I love it. It's like, people ask me if there is, like, some miracle drug out there that can help them lose weight and feel <gasps> better and live better, and I just tell them diet, water, and exercise. I, I just think it'd be funny if, after all of this, Derek Styles just becomes, like, the pen and teller of the medical world, where you're just like, <laughs> oh, yeah, the, these diet pills? Bullshit! <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's bullshoot! <laughs> Bison Bull shoot! Shucks. Heck darn! <laughs> And then Angie becomes a mute, and they go on tour together, and they go to Las Vegas. I don't think Angie could be a, a mute. Ever. No. <laughs> Aha! I can only try! Anyway, for that, def <laughs> Definitely testing up for the soap opera bit. I mean, they are kind of translating from a really anime-esque style, so they're probably just kind of doing with the assets that they're handed. I, Do you I think know. he has that face when he coughs? Like, like, he looks like he's going into action, but he just coughed. <laughs> I must <laughs> save this package! <laughs> Actually, that'd be kind of funny if you went under the knife. Like, Angie had to operate on you. That'd, that'd be an interesting twist. I'm a what doctor? Look at that! What? Huh? We are, we are! Euthanasia! We are, we are! Uh oh. Euthanasia! That's what oh. I used to sing back when I was a kid, actually. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Death Doctor. So we're gonna be Dr. Kevorkian? <laughs> well, good luck- Oh, please let me live! Ah, it is- it is, uh, the, the sequel case to the earlier Please Let Me Die. Please let me live. Okay, I'll do my best. I'm no death doctor. I'll bring people back to life, baby. Well, we're gonna be like Paul McCartney singing in a 007 movie. We're gonna live and let die. Da, da, live and let, let die. die. Da, da, da. Trauma team. Da, da. Derek Styles. <laughs> That's me. I'm cool. <laughs> you know, I always love that film just because of the main villain. <laughs> Such a such a cool villain. He's also my favorite character in Goldeneye. I have not seen enough 007 movies. Uh, Live and Let Die is a really good one. I've seen... It's got Baron Samity. I've seen Die Another Day. Okay. That's okay. That's a good one. And, like, maybe 70% of Spectre. Of, uh, not, no, Sp Skyfall. Skyfall's a good one. Uh, definitely do Goldeneye. That's that's just a, a fun romp. I do like Pierce Brosnan as as, as... he played a really good Bond. Yeah, he I'll did. give him that. Yeah, but like the classic Bonds, I haven't seen any of them. Uh, no Sean Connery, no. Goldfinger's Dark. pretty good. Uh, Moonraker's pretty good. That, they're all silly. I, I should just mention this. The older ones, <laughs> silly. Were, oh well, that's, were that's extremely that beyond my extremely my. silly, but still fun watches. And of course, uh, Live and Let Die is just fantastic. I'm a diehard fan. I love silly action movies. <laughs> then you will love. Still, probably one of the best effects in Live and Let Die is jumping on alligators. <laughs> it's just perfect. Good, good job, 007. I did that in video games. That's not. That's 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 silly. Easy. Would be weird if that's where they got it from. Oh my god, that would be weird. 
Um, I'm sorry, are we talking about the patient right now? I'm just kind of going on about, uh... Well, apparently the, uh, antihistamine that is on the streets, the mean streets of not L.A., uh, made her want to die, which basically means she was probably doing whippets in a back alley. Or probably she was taking antidepressant medication, and whatever street drugs that she was taking probably fucked her up with that. Oh, most likely, yes. Yeah, that's probably, yeah, because... Uh, speaking of which, that's coming to a head right now. Oh, no! Excruciating chest pain! Oh, uh, God, she's gonna die. Something tells me that we're about to get to something important. She's dying of heartache. Doctor, I want to live! And there we go. Love yourself, damn it. Yep, you're going under right now. Right now, like... Like, if we don't cut her open right now, it's just gonna burst out of her chest. Yeah, she's going to die. Hemorrhaging lacerations have reformed in the right lung. <laughs> Police conduct an investigation while performing hemostatic treatment. Which means whatever's in there is still in there! Yep. Blood pressure's decreasing at a frightening rate. She is almost flatlining. Okay, let's fix those lungs. Well, yeah, she, like, breathed in saw blades. I'm waiting, oh, no. waiting for this. I think something's about to appear. Yes, indeed. Treat any bleeding injuries with the thor thora thoracic? I'm just I'm just going to mispronounce everything. Thoracic? She has a dinosaur living in there? That's where the lacerations I'll be came working, from. I'll be working as your assistant. No, she wants to live! I have to <laughs> survey her! Survey? Ooh, very fancy. <laughs> I shall survey you, dying woman. It's, it's the French pronunciation, <laughs> I see. Derek, you're French? I live in L.A. Yes, of course it, I'm not. It, it's actually Derek Steele's. <laughs> <laughs> he stole what? No, 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 no. You, you don't understand. You don't Steals understand. your heart. Bam! Bam! Oh! There we go. TV doctor status. Achieved. <laughs> Steals that heart. All right, I'm going to focus. You go ahead and... Oh, jeez! It's like we didn't do anything! Did you even... Did you even fix her, doctor? Or did you just nod off and write her off as saved? Uh, I don't know. This is going on your permanent record. Permanent what? All right, same treatment. Use the same treatment, but be careful! Be careful! Be careful, Nisko! Hey, Angie, not helping. <laughs> She's just sitting there freaking out the whole fucking time, like, oh god, oh god, it's bleeding everywhere. You gotta do something, doctor. Do something! I'm glad you're here, Angie. Dr. Casal is basically saying, if you don't save her, I'm gonna dock your pay. I'm gonna take your job. I'm gonna take your house. I'm gonna take your life. You're gonna be out on the streets! My streets! And I'll still own your ass! Thank you, Doctor. Thank you, I appreciate it. Save her! Still shaking him, smacking him upside the head. Save her! Moving his hands around. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's not good. That's not good. Uh, ultrasound. There you are! What the fuck is that? A parasite. I think we're about to take a hard right into wacky, goofy anime town, Niskel. Uh, yeah, I think so. Uh, population us right population now. Population us and whatever the fuck this thing is. Yep, I don't like it. I cut it out of her. Uh, yeah, I, I, I like that idea. Kill it with fire. So who's playing Gradius in her lungs? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Angie, good job. We actually saved our patient. Oh, there's more! Oh, what? What? No, 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 no. Put some juice in that bitch! Uh. Vitals! Vitals! I, I got, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. No, we're good, we're good, we're good. There's another one in there. Bastard. What? No, no, I... Gotcha. Okay. How are our vitals doing? We're at 12, we're at warning. Shoot her up and then, yeah. Okay. Stitch her up and she should be okay. Gotcha. Jeez! <laughs> oh, she's dead! <laughs> oh, what? Oh, no! Oh, that was bullshit! Oh. That was bullshit! Bullshit! Two days later, Derek Stiles mysteriously disappeared without saying a word to anyone. The burden of the patient's lives turned out to be more than he could bear. So he stacked all his scalpels on the ashtray and fucked off. I call BS. Would you like another go? Absolutely. Okay. Well, now that I know that that is showing up. Alright, alright. I think when the patient's dying, you can't go, oh, she'll be fine.
Because I didn't something do that. Well, it's not, you it's, it's not that you didn't do it. You didn't do anything. You it hurt her vitals dropped too low. They can't be that low. They were in the middle of talking. I thought it was a scene. Well, you, it was at zero. You had to, you had to put them in there. Or maybe, or maybe quickly use the healing touch. I don't know. They didn't give me a chance. I was trying. Yeah, yeah, okay. Go ahead and... All right, we'll do, we'll do it again. Nurse Angie, just keep on those vitals. Okay, so let's keep the vitals up before you... you uh, uh, I was about to say, before I take care of the evil demon parasites. Before you sew up the last laceration, because I don't think the, the game does that six-star sighted yeah. fuck way until you suture up that last thing. So maybe, uh, yeah. What? Forceps. I, I was you. trying. Okay. I know how to doctor. Okay. See? Look how good that doctoring was. Oh god, it like, it tears and then it opens a little bit. Ugh, that's gross. It's nasty gross. There you go. Alright, burn a little bastard. How high can her vitals go? Y yes, thank you. Uh. Yeah. Like there, there, there's a maximum they'll give you. Uh, if I had to guess, probably 70. Would you Jeez. fucking stop? Before he goes away. Before he goes away. Because these guys do dig back in. What? What? Sorry, I thought she was talking again. I think it says talk when they talk. Yeah, thanks. Alright, got it. So do this. Burn. Burn. Dead. Get your vitals up. Get your vitals up, because this basically killed you. There we go. All right. Here they come. Sloosh. Ooh, yeah, that's a 20 hit to vitals. Do you. All right. Zap. Oh, Ooh, this is the boss. That looks like a big one. Yeah. It... All right. I'll tell you when vitals drop below 20. Well, I'm not going to take that chance. Okay, don't... I'll tell you when they drop below 30. Oh, you bitch. 38. She wants to live, damn it. And I'm gonna kill this thing to make that happen! Yeah! It died! Whew! Alright, vitals are at 28. All right. But I think the threat is over. Jesus, that hurts so much! Like, 20, you said? Yeah. Lost 20 in vitals? Could have been guilt! <laughs> <laughs> oh, welcome to Weird Anime Land. We like to have fun here. No, no, guilt is not like, like the feeling of guilt. Guilt is what that thing was. It is yep. a strange... It is a, a strain of strange anime super virus. That's Sup gonna be... Yeah, super parasite. Th that's going to be the, uh, the antagonist du jour in this yep. game. Yep. Well, congratulations, Doctor. You beat the concept of guilt. Good job. Oh, no mistakes. Yeah! Hey! I'm a senior surgeon! I think not using healing touch was a lot of points. Yes. I'd like to remind everyone that details of this operation should be considered strictly confidential. But why? Because I said! Seriously, dude. An evil demon parasite named Guilt was found in this lady's lungs. Yeah, and if you say anything, I'm gonna infect you with a strain of parasites called Fired. <laughs> Very fatal. Very fatal. Gets rid of the paycheck, too. It's really weird. What do you think guilt stands for? Uh, goopy, ugly, icky, little things. Uh, guys under influence like taters. Guys unite in light turmoil. Grapes under ice. Uh, tasty. Jeez! You interfere like that? You starts with Y. I'm sorry, I can't allow text to speak. Caduceus! Caduceus! Caddy coo! Back when I was a teenager playing this, I called it Caduceus. Caduceus, alright. Caduceus. Caduce, because it's full of Caduceus. Caduceus. Caduce bag. <laughs> yeah, like this guy. <laughs> I think you've been affected with guilt. Oh no! <laughs> huh? What's the exam report? Ah, that's why we wanted to keep it secret because there was a fucking alien in her body. 
Yeah. Positive chiral reaction? Chiral reaction? Is she part of the de of Death Stranding? Did we save her from the beach? Is she gonna reconnect America? Nobody played that game. I played that game! And you all should too! <laughs> yeah, if I want to be bored to death. Maybe you should play more than just the opening. If I want to be bored to death. Did you even build highways, man? <laughs> Gangliated eutrophin <laughs> immuno-latency <laughs> toxin. Oh, really? Not evil demon parasite? Gah! Ugh! It's Latin talk! Yeah, so... Ganglionated means it's got little, little bits and bobs. Immuno, which means it goes against your own body. And... It's, it's just a bad thing, okay? Then you think Reed's illness was that Googlio stuff? Not googly eyes. Exactly. Linda Reed was that giggly gotty stuff. He's a guilt victim. Even... Even back when I was like... Bright-eyed, bushy-tailed teenager playing this, I rolled my eyes at, oh, she was infected with guilt, guilt. from trying to unalive. Good job, guys. I made you a blanket to commemorate your operation, Linda. <laughs> Here's your guilt quilt. Oh, there's a little bit of, uh, rock residue on it. Oh, I'm sorry. It's some, uh, guilt quilt silt. Ah, oh, shit, there's a juice stain on it. That's your guilt spilt. Then I, but then I took that, uh, that, uh, that rocky residue, and I put it in water, and then I hardened it, and I made a little, uh, a little, uh, thing out of it. So now you get to see what your guilt quilt silt built. Damn, that was a good one. I think I'm gonna go check out this caduceus thing. At the forefront of modern medicine... At the forefront of anime medicine! This little dweeb is getting invited to the League of Super Doctors. <laughs> I love it. I mean, it's an honor, but I mean... Uh, Can Angie come with me? I need my waifu with me. Y yes, uh... Y you need a therapy dog, as it were. <laughs> Ouch! God, I never considered Angie a, like an emotional support animal, but I, was, I guess I was here we are. I was talking to Angie. Derek's a support animal. <laughs> Oh, I love my scampering little bitch. What? No. Is that, is that Don't an pet him, he's working. <laughs> You're doing great. No. I don't think a research laboratory is the right environment for you. Right, keep me in the field. He said inside his head. A letter? Kriaki. Sunday. That's not an anagram. Death is denied to those who seek it. That would be their destiny. It's, oh. It's like Elden Ring's music. Death is denied to those who seek it. Though it be their destiny. Yeah, a bunch of mumbo jumbo League of Super Doctors. They Here we go! Like treasure, but the mother age conceals it. I think it's some shitty manuscript from some Hollywood reject. It's from the guilt police. They found her. It is literal bioterrorism! Oh my god, I forgot about this plotline. Oh my god. You've been I, I infected think, with guilt. See, I think that's why Trauma Center turned out to be so good, because you think it's going to be a simple, you know, doctor game, but then you're fighting terrorists with the power of medicine. With, with their super parasites. And I think that's why I like Trauma Team better, because Trauma Team doesn't have this, uh, this psycho anime virus or whatever. It's just got the psycho anime storylines, but we'll get to that. No, we'll get to that. Medical terrorism, yeah! A large-scale guilt outbreak. This is what the first two Trauma Center games are like. Hilarious. Although I gotta say, it's a good way to hook a hook a new player in. No, definitely. Start out with the with the wacky, you know, eco terrorism <laughs> stuff for the greater good. <laughs> the greater good. The greater good. Well, how great is this good? Let's find out. Well, show me, Doctor. Show me how great this good is. Come on, Super Doctor. Greater good. Oh, possible. Room 207. Hi, Linda. We're not gonna. Oh, it's old man. Thanks so much, Doctor. I guess it Linda just went hurt home. so bad. I thought it was a goner. Oh, this thorn in your foot wasn't that bad. It was appendicitis. Wow. Hard to think it burst 30 years ago. I didn't even know. It only just now started to hurt. I guess the blockage finally went through. Your, your blood is more toxic than uh, hemoglobins, actually. You know, I can't wait till we get to the surgery where guilt caused a hernia. In that case, I'd be right there with you. 
It's amazing how far modern medicine can just fix guilt like that. Oh, uh, okay. Elisa Chalk. Not sure about Elisa, but Chalk is Sarah Chalk, who played Bit Reed on Scrubs. Oh, perfect. Sarah Chalk also plays the mom on Rick and Morty. Oh. Let's see, she's very young. Valvular heart disease. You'll be saving somebody's heart valve. And saving money on hot games because of the steam and you know, the valvular heart disease. Yeah. Yes, she is a robot. Let's install some new piping in there. I've always wanted a robot waifu. <laughs> uh, so I think she's like 10. Well, great. It'll be bite sized to start out with. Less parts. <laughs> I'm making my own XJ9. Alright, I think this is going to be uh, the final battle for Chapter 2 here. Yes, indeed. So I think this is going to be a particularly difficult operation. You're replacing heart valves, which is different than fighting, Let's you know, e evil demon parasites. Yeah, because this is an anime world. This is real life. Real people have to go through this! Yeah. Ah! Real anime life. Real anime life. Let's see. Okay, light arrhythmia. Oh, you're gonna have to shock her back to life. Okay. Most likely. Alright, let's take a look. Alright, this whole thing's gotta go. <laughs> hey, you know, just remove the heart. Up, 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 oh, up, yep. oh, there no. Goes. oh no, oh no! That's defib. Oh shit, oh no, shit. Oh wait, wait. Yep. Defibrillator. Vitals are critical. Uh, uh. Yeah. Go. All the way up there. Ah! Oh shit! No, too much! I killed her! Oh, what? almost back. Doctor. We got rid of them again. Got okay. Alright. Alright. So, so I'm gonna have to keep doing that. That's cool. Yeah, she's she's probably gonna go into defib again. You know what she needs? She needs just some juice right into her heart. Ah! <laughs> just right, right into the ventricles! Just put that shit in there. Also, I think you're wasting time. She might defib again and undo all that progress. Doctor. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Very good. All right, All right, three stages. Drain the blood. Slurp. Easy. Okay. Oh, uh, just a small incision. Up, 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 up. Before, up. Uh, and defib. Vitals are critical. Cut. Yeah. Oh, Shit. too early. I don't know. There we go. Got it. All right. All right. Drain. Slurp. And then... then... Just, just, just a light cut. Nope. Vitals to 17. Oh, 17, get that back up. Uh, okay. Remove blood. Drain that. And then drain. cut out. Yep. And then place on tray. Oh, oh going into defense. Here we go, here we go, here we go. All right. And bring cut. it back. Back to life! And back, back to life. Oh, oh. And back, back to, to life. life. All right, cool. All right. Now, so drain and remove. Here's your... Uh... Oh god. Alright. Uh, oh, going into defib here, again. There we go again, alright. And... Yeah, alright. First all right. try, alright. Drain. And then put that Valve in there. On. Now suture. Amazing. <laughs> Good enough. I'm it's, getting better at suturing, she says. Get that shit in there. Alright. Let's finish her up. What do we, what, 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 what do I do? What, whatever. This is just sew the heart back together. It's fine. Uh, 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 uh she's gonna be on yeah, bed no, rest uh, for like the next 15 years. Yeah. If done right. There we go. No infections. And heart's fine. <sighs> yeah, and Derek just did it like a maniac. Like the way you cut out my heart, Angie! <laughs> Every single day. Scalpels fully sharpened. Good job! You saved that young girl. Go me! Good job, man. Yeah. Good job, doctor. No guilt. Nope, no guilt. Just regular heart valve transplant. No bonuses, C rank. <laughs> nice. Surprise, surprise. Good job, rookie. Yeah. See, I'm, see, I'm more of a, uh, you know, uh... I, I'm the guy who diagnoses, not the one who actually operates, so... Good job, Mr. Diagnostician. Daughter's heart don't work. <laughs> Fix it. I think it might be a case of broken heart syndrome. Hmm. There appears to be a gigantic gaping hole. Ooh, I did that. In your daughter's heart. Ooh. And it was stitched together with, uh... Well, actually, it's just kind of 
loosely strung with some shoestring, I think. Wait, how did that get in there? Oh, that's what we call uh. that's what we call a Derek in the industry. <laughs> Yay, I'm named after something. Woo! Give her plenty of ice cream and let her go outside for fresh air. She'll be back in the mines at the end of the week. Modern medicine. Caduceus. I'm very sorry. Modern medicine just hasn't advanced enough to treat a disease like this. You have my condolences. Oh no! Somebody probably close to him died! Are we getting backstory? Mom, His dad crying? died, oh my god. Dad's okay, right? It's just a cold, right? It's He's gonna get bad. It's literally just a cold! It's congestive heart failure. It's a cold! This colonoscopy went wrong. T what? How? It was just a cold! This is what happens when Derek tries to help. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, it could save your father. Wow! No doctor could save your, your father from a fatal case of a cold. And, th and this is why I became a doctor. It's like, oh, he's got the sniffles, and he passed away from it. How? Well, I thought I could save his sniffles by clogging his like, esophagus and his nose. Was it like an infection in his nasal cavity? No, just the sniffles. But how did how did he die from the sniffles? Mm -hmm. but, but, oh, it, sorry. Hyper sniffles. Asphyxiation from the hypertension in his throat? Or no, just the sniffles. But. Modern medicine is bullshit. I'm going to prove it wrong. I'm going to go to Caduceus. Figure out how to solve super colds. They give him a complimentary toe. Here's your Caduce bag. <laughs> That's what they call their football team, the Caduce bags. <laughs> and Caduce bags finish out one and fourteen for the season. Oh, I'm glad we at least won one. Oh my God! Turn doctoring into a sporting event. Ah, oh, looks like we we missed a missed an incision. Shame. Patient would have lived. Oh, there's a flag on the play. <laughs> what? What did I do? Improper stitching. Offense number ninety-two. I can see Derek faking an injury like they do in soccer, just to be like. <laughs> Fifteen second penalty. Yep, give me a penalty. Still first bypass. <laughs> no, I think you should give Angie a yellow card. I mean, look at her. So chapter look. three has started, and we have the second chapter of the the Z chapter. Yeah, nice Z chapter. But I believe we'll be doing that next time on Trauma Center Second Opinion. I believe you are correct. Because uh, we're heading to Gadushis and also, you know, dealing with the uh, nice Japanese doctor over here. Yep, some new beginnings and some old endings, I suppose. And some miracles happening. See you next time. <laughs>